Welcome to Radio Row here in Phoenix, Arizona, Super Bowl 57. It is Friday morning, and I am joined by a man who got an MVP vote last night, Chicago Bears I, quarterback, I Justin that. Fields. How yeah. you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So before we get into everything, you're working with Marriott Bonvoy. Why don't you just tell everybody why you're working with them and what's going on there? Yeah, so today I'm with uh, Marriott Bonvoy. Um, you know, they've been offering uh, access to NFL uh, events uh, for you know, a few years now, I think since 2016. So, um, yeah, that's been awesome. But last week I got a chance to style a couple by the name of uh, Ross and Jessica uh, for some events this weekend. Uh, one event was uh, the NFL Honors last night, and then another event was, uh, of course, the Super Bowl. So, you know, they uh, you know, got the chance to do, to do that with uh, their points and stuff like that. So, I mean, it was awesome, you know, experiencing that with them last week, and uh, it was just, just fun. So, yeah. What was this season like for you with the Bears? I mean, you had a, you had a lot of success personally. Yeah. You, you almost improved in every statistic across the board. You ran for over 1,100 yards. We'll get that in a second. But mm -hmm. um, team started out a couple of wins, struggled this year, went along wins and losses. But you guys were competitive in almost every game. Yeah. How do you kind of evaluate and assess how the season went for you guys? Yeah. I mean, of course, you know there were a lot of ups and downs. But um, you know, I think if you you know pull out one team from our team, I think you know. I think we built a culture there, you know, with the you know uh, first year as a head coach, uh, GM, and really everyone in the building. And then, I mean, I think just the thing that we're gonna have to do next year is just finish. You know, the, I think we're, there were seven, eight games where, you know, where we lost that were one possession games. So, I mean, that's one possession to where you know we get a drive late in the game that we got to capitalize on. So uh, next year we we plan to do that. So yeah. You mentioned that first year coaching staff, and you have, of course, Matt Eberflus, who's taken over the reins. You have mm -hmm. Luke Getzi as your offensive coordinator. What was it like for you as you kind of got to know those guys in the spring, and then of course learned each other so much better as the year went on? Yeah, I mean it was awesome. Uh, and when I tell you we have you know awesome guys in the building, uh, they're really good people. Um, that's that's the honest truth. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it was their their first year. You know, Luke's first year being an OC, so uh, you know he had to learn you know what we did well as an offense as a team and everything like that. So uh, I think he kind of got the feel of it week five, week six, and that's where we you know, started to get on the road to where we were you know, putting up 30 points a game for like four straight weeks. So uh, you know, we just, just want to get uh, started with that fast you know, next year, and you know, hopefully we, we maintain that through the year. So. What kind of guy is Getsy? Is he uh, he's a, la he's a, you know, a humorous guy? Is he a real serious guy? I mean, nah, what what a, is he like in the room for you? He's a laid back, uh, humorous, funny guy. Um, I mean, he's awesome. When I tell you, uh, he's just you know laid back, chill, kind of goes with the flow, and and he just he's 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 one of the smarter coaches I've been around. So, I mean, he's been awesome to me. I've learned a lot from him, um, and you know I just you know I'm excited to you know keep learning from him and you know keep growing with him. This year you ran for over 1,100 yards. The mm -hmm. only quarterback who's ever run for more yards in a season is Lamar Jackson. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, some of your runs, long winding runs where you took off downfield and, and continued to break tackles. When you're doing that, I mean, is it almost in slow motion for you at some points? Because some of the moves you make, it almost seems like you have, you have guys set up a little bit. Or for you, is it just pure instinct and you're just trying to run? I know Patrick Mahomes has talked about yeah. when I'm running, it's out of pure fear. I just don't want to get hit. I mean, yeah. what, what is your mindset when you take off on some of these longer jaunts? Yeah, I mean, when I take off, I mean, my first mindset or the first things in my that's in my mind is to, you know, don't take any big hits. Make sure that, you know, I'm protecting myself. And, um, you know, sometimes uh, there might be a little crease or just one guy to beat. So once I see that one guy to beat and I see that I think that I can beat him, I mean, at that point, it's just all instincts. I try to hit it and then just go. And then, you know, sometimes I break him and sometimes I don't. But uh, usually when I break him, I try not to get caught. So that's the biggest thing with that. Do you ever run from this past year that you're like, that was my best, that was my favorite? Um, I'd have to say a lot. Uh, I, I think. <laughs> The Green Bay one, uh, the second time we played him around, I think that was a fun run because uh, that was just – that just happened out of nowhere. Like, the, <laughs> the play call, I mean, that was a called run. Um, I was about to throw the runner alert, and then it just – I mean, I don't even know what happened after that. I just, you know, I was trying to get some yards, and then boom, 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 saw a crease and hit it. And then either that one or – I like the, the uh, Detroit one too. I think that was a pretty good one. And the Miami one. Uh, so I mean I have a you know a few good ones, so it's like <laughs> tough I can't, to choose. I can't choose exactly. Right, tough right, to choose, right. But uh, yeah, I gotta ask you about the off season coming up now. First of all, before we mm -hmm. get into the team, what are your plans this off season? What are you what are you looking to improve upon? Do you have some goals in mind? You're like okay, 
I want to check these boxes here as we get, you know, as we get toward the spring and then into the OTAs. Yeah, um, you know, just focusing on my, you know, throw mechanics, especially with the short throws. I felt like, you know, there were times last year in the game where I, you know, could have got lazy or, you know, was tired from running the ball. But, you know, just making sure my mechanics are on point to where, you know, no matter how tired I am, no matter what point of we are in the game, that, you know, I'm going to, you know, complete the ball and, you know, just, just get, the, get the football in, in my guy's hands. So um, just, just small stuff like that. And, you know, as the offseason progresses, then I'll get, you know, to more of, you know, the in-depth stuff. But, you know, just, just right now I'm just, you know, kind of getting back into working out and stuff like that. So really just working on my mechanics and stuff right now. Bears are the number one overall pick. They also have the most cap space in the league by a pretty mm -hmm. wide margin. Yeah. I know that's Ryan Poles' job and not yours. I get it. But yeah. what would you like to see the team do? Is there something in your mind you're like, you know, it would be great if we did X? Any thoughts on that? Uh, no, not really. Um, you know, like you said, it's, it's, it's not my job. But, uh, of course, you know, we, got, we are going to get some new players this year. And it's going to be fun, you know, seeing all those guys compete in camp um, and, and, and really just building re relationships with those guys. So, you know, I'm excited for the future. And, you know, if we, we make the right moves and, you know, we're going to be a, a threat this year. So uh, I know everybody in the building is excited and, you know, uh, ready to get to work. There's been some talk because you have the number one overall pick and, and Bryce Young's coming out, CJ Stroud from Ohio State's coming mm -hmm. out. There have been people who have said in the media, well, what if what if the Bears were to move you, take a quarterback, and then I'll get, get this draft capital from you since you're so talented and valuable. Yeah. Um, does it bother you at all? Do you not care? Have you talked to anybody in the building about that? Uh, no, not really. It doesn't bother me at all. You know, um, Ryan actually texted me yesterday and just said he was going to keep me in the loop with everything. So. Uh, yeah, uh, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But um, you know, I just you know try to focus on the things that I can control. Um, if I do go somewhere else, and I go somewhere else, and uh, my approach towards the game is going to stay the same. Uh, how I work is going to stay the same, and you know everything else. So uh, just control what I can control, and you know just 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 go with that. So last thing, just mentioned C.J. Stroud coming out. Of course, Buck guy like you. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on him as he's coming out? He's getting ready for the draft. A lot of people think he'll be a top five pick. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a great kid. First and foremost, I've known him, you know, since he was in high school. Um, just his mindset, you know, he's 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 different than most guys. Um, right when he came in, he was, you know, just just locked in. You know, even being the backup, uh, just his mindset and the way he works is different. So uh, I'm excited for him. And of course, you know, everybody uh, in the world got to see his you know talent displayed in that last playoff game that you know they were in against a great defense. Yep. So. Um, you know, he showed what he could do, and, um, you know, I'm excited to see what team he goes to and, you know, excited for his future, so it should be fun. All right. Justin Fields, yeah. thanks so much. Appreciate We're going to Marriott Bonvoy, man. Yes, Best of luck uh, in this offseason. That's from Radio Row down here in Phoenix, Super Bowl 57.